Hi, today I'm here with my beautiful model Amy and I'm going to show you how to create beautiful glowing skin and fresh bright eyes. I'm going to start by using the Illuminating Primer. This is great to provide a really beautiful even canvas for the foundation. It also revives the skin and adds luminosity. You can use it under the foundation or you can mix it with the foundation for a faster look. This is really simple to apply. Just apply with your fingers and blend into the skin. There's no need to use a brush. So now we've primed the skin, I'm going to use the Illuminating Touch Under Eye Brightener. This is great for hiding any blue undertones under the eyes, which we mainly get in the inner corners here. So if you just apply it to the under eye here and gently pat it out, it has colour correction properties, so really makes the eyes look fresher and brighter. This is a really light coverage, so it's much better if you use it with a concealer. So now we've done the colour correction, I'm going to use the Illuminating Touch Brightening Concealer just in a triangular shape just under the eyes. This is great to hide any dark circles or any imperfections and really brighten this area up. It has light reflecting properties so it just adds radiance and bounces light from this area to really give you that wide awake fresh look. I'm doing this triangular shape because this is the area where we get most imperfections and the dark circles we really want to cover. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this concealer for blemishes, I'd say it's more of a brightening under eye concealer. So I've just covered any redness or blemishes and imperfections in the skin using a concealer. I'm now going to add the glow to the skin and the luminosity by using Collections Speedy Highlighter. I'm going to apply this to all the areas of the skin where the light would naturally bounce off and cause a highlight. So I'm starting with the cheekbones, down the centre of the nose, Cupid's bow, a little bit on the chin and to really brighten up the eyes I'm going to use in the inner corners of the eyes and on the brow bone. Pat this on. And gently blend out with your fingers. It really melts into the skin. I'm going to do this before and after foundation just to really amp up the glow. So now we've added luminosity to the skin, I'm going to use the Illuminating Touch Foundation. This is a really beautiful foundation. It's a medium coverage but it really allows your skin to look natural and healthy and radiant without too much coverage. It's really hydrating so it gives that beautiful natural glow whilst covering up any blemishes or imperfections. I like to apply it with a soft blending brush and really work it into the skin. Make sure you blend down onto the neck so it looks really natural. You can also apply with a beauty blender if you like, or with your fingers. I just prefer to use a soft blending brush for this. So this foundation gives a really natural, dewy finish, so your skin looks fresh and luminous. But as we're creating this really beautiful, dewy look, um, with lots of radiance to the skin, I'm going to go in again with the Speedy Highlighter and do exactly the same thing as I did before, but just over the foundation this time. So again, pat on all the same areas as you did earlier and just press and blend in with your fingers. This way it just melts into the foundation and it just looks like the, the glow is coming from within the skin rather than sitting on top of the skin. So it looks really natural and luminous. As you can see it gives that really beautiful strobing effect. It really highlights all these high planes of the face to give that gorgeous natural glow. So if you now want to really amp up that highlight and create that gorgeous strobing effect, you can use the highlighting section from the contour kit. This just really adds intensity and drama and creates that gorgeous, gorgeous glow. So you just dust the powder all in the same areas, down the nose and on the cheekbones. This just gives you a really intense luminosity. If you were going to contour, you would do this after the foundation's been applied. 
but today we're just focusing on strobing. The powder highlight also just sets the cream and highlighter in place so it will stay for a lot longer. So here it is, the final look, beautiful glowing skin and bright eyes and if you haven't already please subscribe.